This is a really quick video on how to lock down a financial period within Xero. So to do this, we're going to click on our company name. We're going to go to settings. And we're going to scroll down to where it says looking for advanced settings. Click on this. And then on the right side under advanced settings, we're going to click on financial settings. And we're going to scroll down to where it says lock dates. Now to avoid confusion, it's important that you make sure these dates are both the dates that you're choosing to lock down. Um, it's important to lock both boxes down. If your accountant needs to make any further adjustments, they will know where to unlock the period so they can make the necessary adjustments. And once you've selected that, just click save. And that's it. That's how to lock down a financial period in zero. If there's any questions you have about this, please get in touch and we'll be happy to answer any questions you might have. Thank you for checking out our video. If you'd like to learn more about the latest and greatest in fintech, check out our app center, the links in the description. And make sure to like, comment and subscribe. Thank you and see you next time.